welcome back to another video it's your girl angie and today i will be showing you guys how to blend your leave out with your curly extensions the hair texture that i have in right now is brazilian curl i think it's like brazilian curly and i have a minimum leave out so i'm gonna just tell you guys um what i did first uh in the beginning okay so i left out i'm gonna just show you guys so i left out this much of leave out and what I did on yesterday was I added in um, two extra pieces on the left side up here. Let me show you. Right here, I glued this in. So I glued in um, a piece on this side and I glued in a piece on this side. And so. I'm going to basically show you how to <laughs> blend the weave out um, with your curls. Stay tuned and I hope you enjoy the video. Okay guys, so I'm gonna tell you what I have, what you're gonna need. Okay, you're gonna need some type of oil, okay? So this right here is olive oil spray on glosser. And this is what it looks like. And it's really light, really, really light. It's with olive oil and it's a uh, frizz free and it's a shine spray. So you're gonna need this. You're gonna need a spray bottle. Here's my spray bottle. You can get this from Walmart, really cheap. Water. And then you're gonna need a diamond brush. You can get this at Sally's Beauty Supply. I honestly don't know where this <laughs> can be found. I'll look and see if I can find it and I'll put it in the description box because I really just took this from my mom. I was like, hey, mom's like, I can't use that. I'm allergic to it, so can you take it? So I took it. And then you're gonna need some curling rods and last a curling knot wand okay and the reason why we need a wand and a rod is if you're going to do the curls you're going to need something to uh put some heat on the hair to get the hair to i guess mold to the curls so the curlers so without further ado i'm going to show you guys how to um, blend your leave out you're going to section off your uh curls from your leave out because we're going to now apply some water to it just like that and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to twist it up like this and I'm going to take a bobby pin and pin it you can clip it doesn't matter and I pinned it and so now I'm going to start off with a section make sure it's wet enough to detangle but you don't want it drenched or soaked because it just takes much longer for the uh, curls to set in yeah, so we're just gonna brush out I'm gonna spray a little bit more and I'm just gonna work it through Section off. I'm gonna spray some oil on it. I'm gonna start off at the end, all the way up. And you're just gonna work it through. This oil is light enough. You don't want too much product because too much product takes it, uh, makes it greasy and weigh the hair down. So just enough. And here's the curls. Like that. I'm just gonna work it through.
Okay, now that you've got both sides, curls are going to pop once they dry. Um, that's why we use a spray bottle so we don't soak the hair, but we get it wet enough where um, the product can really work. And so purposely on the top, I didn't really kind of saturate it as much because I like the pattern of the, pattern of the top. Um, and then the ends will slowly but surely, you know, come back together. So now we're going to uh, deal with leave out. Okay, now we're gonna allow this to sit up for an hour that way the hair can mold i'm just gonna spray a little oil to the curls and then i'm going to come back and i'm going to unravel it for you guys and show you guys the finished product so stay tuned okay y'all so i'm back it has been an hour and now it's time to take the rollers out so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take it out and then i'm just going to pull slowly unravel and pull it down 
like so. And this is the final product. Literally, I'm loving it. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to leave a comment. And I will see you guys in another video. Peace.